welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker. I try things out for you so you know what to buy, more importantly, what not to buy. If you're anything like me and you have fine hair that gets really flat and weighed down and you're always looking for ways to add volume, this video is for you. I have figured out using just a couple of products how to add volume. One is pretty normal, the other is like a little ridiculous, but it works. So if you wanna see what those are, then stick around and let's get into it. So I have fine hair, I have a lot of it and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Oh, I treat it, I color treat it so it gets damaged. I use heat styling products, so. There's a lot of other variables here. The shampoo and conditioner will make a difference. I have started clarifying, this is an important note, with an apple cider vinegar rinse because I looked for a clarifying shampoo and all the ingredients on said shampoos were terrifying. And I found out how to make my own little mix. Super simple, one part apple cider vinegar, two parts water. Not an expert, not a dermatologist, not a hair care person, by the way. So this is not medical advice, this is just what's worked for my hair. But I needed to get rid of the buildup on the scalp, not dry it out, so I don't do this often. Amazing, it really, really did a good job. And it made my hair shiny, so that was kind of a bonus. Said, I found a couple of things to help me, and it's not dry shampoo, I don't use dry shampoo. One is, and I've actually mentioned this product, the InnerSense I Create Lift Volumizing Foam. Not every product, that I have tried from InnerSense, I have liked. When I like their products, really like their products. <laughs> so I just do it around the crown. I do it around the crown. And it is actually important to have that clarifying element. And this is what I ran into. I wasn't really taking care of my scalp. And so eventually this just really didn't have the same impact. But once I clarified, this really got back in there. It did what it was supposed to do. I will let it air dry first for a little bit. I feel like that really helps blow dry it, style as usual. No problem. Okay, so this is the weird part. I try not to wash my hair. I guess I wash it every three days now, and I can do that because of the different products that I've used to clarify and keep it healthy, right? When it gets a little flat in the morning or completely just not cute, I have teased. I lived in Texas for a very long time. I have teased my hair, okay? And there's nothing wrong with teasing your hair. It always feels like it damages and breaks the hair to back comb it. So I don't like to do that. And also it gets this like bird's nest type of thing, which not cute, not cute for me. So what I did the other day, and my head itched, the top of my head, I was like, <sighs> for two seconds, I'm like, Ugh. this was nearby. And this is a scalp scrubber. This is a scalp scrubber, okay? You're supposed to do this in the shower, but it wasn't really doing anything for me in the shower. It was the closest thing nearby. And then I just went like this. Do you see? So where do you, not only does it feel amazing, cause it feels amazing, but I just go like this and it adds volume and it doesn't flatten back out because I have a little bit of product in there. You really don't want it to flatten back out. You can use a little bit of hairspray. I, get, I have not found a clean hairspray that I love. I'm currently trying Pacifica. I have an old standby from Oribe. 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 Not clean. Not clean. Not clean. That's it. I know that seems probably crazy to some people, but it works. It's the dumbest, easiest thing ever. This is all of 10 bucks. I'll put links below because I think this one sold out. So I had to share it with you. Plus I'm giving you an actual product that's meant to do this. So I wanted to share that too. If you want to add volume without your hair feeling like a rat's nest, you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like it's tangling it. And I think it probably stimulates the scalp. I'm just going to go one step further. None of this is scientific in any way, shape or form. Again, just sharing what works on my head. That's it. I know. Thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And do you have any tips or tricks for volumizing your hair? What do you use? Is it all about the shampoo and conditioner? Is it about the product, about how you dry it? Do you use Velcro rollers? Does anybody have time to do that anymore? I don't know. I'll see you guys right back here real soon. Until then, bye.